camera man, thank you. Then to beat the Muslims who are waiting. He's, a, he's actually, uh, he's actually from Toronto. Him. Me and him know each other very well. He loves to I've debate debated Muslims him many on times the in Toronto. He keeps losing. He doesn't want to debate the Muslims at Speaker's Corner. Why is that? Yeah. You know what? And he's another hijacker. He's another hijacker. Challenge him now? He's another hijacker. Will somebody challenge him already? So anyway, um, I'm, I'm, I'm finishing my speech. That's why I came outside of Hyde Park, so I can use my amplifier. So anyway, so we have another hate speaker right here from Toronto who preaches against Christianity all the time. We know him very, very well. You don't need he to travels debate. all around the world he to preach Islam. He loves to debate Muslims on the street in Toronto and so every I'm week. Here preaching but now we have the, to the truth. Corner and he's not coming in. Let him speak. He's not coming in. Let so him speak. why do do you or do you not debate Muslims every street on, on, on the, I on never the street every week? I never debate. You don't take the mic, ask Muslims questions who can't speak English. You know what? Hand well, them the I mic. Had, had, you I, don't I, do I that every to, week. Uh, no, I don't debate. I preach the gospel and people debate with me. You always talk about Islam. You don't preach the gospel. I talk about talk Jesus about Christ. Islam, I don't. That's what you're doing I, right I guess now. you haven't watched my videos. So you want to follow me because you're jealous. You, you Nobody invite, wants to talk to you. You invite Muslims but you to want debate to talk to me. all people the time. Me. People you, love me, man. You, invite, you love me, man. You invite you Muslims. You love me, dude. Just admit it. David, you love me. David, you love me. He knows my name. He knows my name. You invite Muslims to debate on the streets of Toronto. I'm from Toronto. I know him. He invites he knows Muslims. Me. Especially wearing, the ones who you, can't speak English. Especially the ones who can't speak English. He okay, so, so you want to be a hijacker. So are you going to allow me to speak? Are you going to allow me to speak? Actually, you know what? You don't need me to So I'm going to, I'm going to finish what I'm saying here. So now what we have is we have another Muslim hijacking my discussion. We have another discussion going on here that I never even wanted to be a part of. Thank you. Truth will get you somewhere. No, I walked away from there because I'm not arguing hijackers. Uh, hijackers. Now listen. This is the lion's den. So, friend. so what? Over there. So what? Yeah. It, you know, you know what, you're used brother? To are you another hijacker? Every day I'm Muslim. Yep, 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 yep. And you're used to not having any response. I'm not, every problem. day I'm a Muslim. Come on, get it better. Brother. So you have to come over here. Why don't you go over there? Come. You know why? Because because this is where Let's people. These are where innocent come. people actually want to learn. Those are where people that are going to hell want to stay. If you want to stay in hell, stay in hell. Come, brother. No, I'm not scared, actually. I'm not scared. Why are you scared? Anyway, if you have come. the truth, yeah. you, should be, you should be mad enough. Why are you scared about me talking? Why are you have to hijack me? I'm not Why are you scared? You. Let me speak. I'm just saying to you. Why are you saying? I didn't ask you the question. I've watched your videos, sure. and you like to talk a lot. And I'm still talking, and, and you're still you're interrupting. Yeah. And you, yep, yep, yep. Sure. Yeah. You think All doing. I'm saying is that if you come to Speaker's Corner, sure. Yeah, sure. you should be at least prepared yeah. sure. to have people sure. confronting you. And I have. I have had hijackers and rude people coming up to me. My friend, there's no hijacking. This hijacking. 150 years, there's sure. a culture here, you understand? What's your question? You have speakers What's your and question? you have hacklers. What's your question? My question is, can I ask it, bro? No, I'll hold it. All right. My question is this. I watched a few of your videos where you speak to uh, Muslims and you ask questions to them. Yeah. Now, uh, my question to you is this. Yeah. You believe you're the truth, isn't it? Sure. You sure. believe Christianity is the truth, yeah? Yeah. It's just explain why. So, I want you to tell me, yeah? Give me your best evidence, your number one evidence, why Christianity is the truth. Your Quran. <laughs> My Quran. <laughs> He destroyed me! Oh my god, he destroyed me! Right. I answered your question. Are you gonna listen to me now? I'm finished! Okay. Listen, 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 listen. I'm not here to argue with you. I'm here to preach the gospel. No, no, I answered your question. No, no. You want to fight. I want to preach. No, but I gave you the respect. You didn't give me the respect. You came in and chewed it and hijacked. I, I entertained you. I said, give me your whatever question. Yeah. I answered your question. And Did I not? Well, well, let me respond Did I not? Well, let me respond. Let me respond no, no, no. Listen, you yeah. ask me a question, yeah. and I give you the response. You want to know what my best proof is? I yeah. gave you that. There's no response to that. Look, the Quran is the best evidence that Christianity is true. The Quran is not for you. It's against you. Okay. Well, then at least at, at least you got that on tape. No, no, no. This is good. Thank you. The Quran, hear that? Hear that from a Muslim's mouth. The Quran is not for you, it's against you. Yes. Uh, you have to do a better camera job, brother. You gotta get the crowd. Listen, give him give him the camera. The Quran is against the Christians. Let it's me against? make it very clear. Say it again. The Quran is against idolatry, politics. No, no, say what you said, but it's against Christians. It's against Christian theology, yes. 
Absolutely. See how he's switching his words because he's on camera. First, you know, you notice how he switches words? I don't even need to preach. I don't even need to fight. I don't even need to fight Muslims. They're fighting themselves. You see, there's going to be actually 73 sects of Islam. You know, you know what? One of the hadith said, and you might know this one, that in the last days there's going to be either 73 or 93 sects of Islam. There's going to be 72 of Christianity and 71 of uh, of Christianity, 73 of, of of Islam. So that means the the most divided and the most con right, the most divided and confused religion in the world is going to be Islam. Yes, yes. According to your own hadith. Yes. According to our hadith, Jesus, peace be upon him, will come back. According to our hadith, Jesus, peace be upon him, will come back one day. Yeah. And he will do a couple of things. Number one, he will break the cross. He will destroy it. Number two. He will abolish the jizya. Yeah? He will abolish the Which is the tax that you forced tax, yes. on Christians and Jews if they didn't submit to Islam. Well, it's a tax like any other tax. So if, if, if yeah. Muslim, according to Surah chapter 9, Sir. you were forced, you, yeah, if they didn't accept Islam, no, no, they were forced into subjugation no, no. and they had to uh, pay the jizya. Do you want yes. me to read it for you? No, can, I, can I please answer that? Sure. The jizya is simply a tax. Yeah? The Christians and Jews or non Muslims have to pay living under Islamic rule. Right, if but they were forced to be under Islamic rule. No, if, if you don't want to be under Islamic rule, you can leave. That's fine. Okay, so basically take over my country and force me into Islamic rule. If I don't accept it, then I have to pay tax. Spanish okay. Inquisition. Okay, listen. Who has heard of the Spanish Inquisition? Well, thank God that Jesus wasn't Catholic and he never endorsed the Spanish Inquisition. So, so listen. So at the end of the day, we got another hijacker. I've answered, I've entertained his qu his questions. You know why? Because he doesn't want a conversation. Listen, I'm actually talking. I was actually preaching. Listen, I was actually. Listen, 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 listen. Let's discuss. Listen, my friend. Listen, no offense, man. Like, li listen, no offense. I, I know you're a nice guy too. What's your name, man? My name's Dave. Listen, listen. We, we differ on theology, yeah, yeah. but you seem like a nice guy. Maybe we should go out. We should go out for food one day. Maybe after, but, but after I preach, okay? Well, but can I can I at least have a discussion with you? Yeah, we can talk. Come on, I mean, let's go. but but listen, but listen to me, man. Listen, yeah, listen. Preach, look, look. I just I just preach the truth, dude. That's really. Right. Look, yeah. man, you ask. Okay, hold on. No, how do I know, man? I shared I shared my story over there. I got hijacked a few times. Listen, it was a beautiful story. I think you're a very good talker. You're a very great talker. Thank you. And, 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 and not, and not just a talker, I, I'm honest, okay? I'm honest. Look, I have nothing against, if, if Islam was true, I'd become a Muslim today. Yeah, okay? that's right. If it was true, if you're sincere. I'm sincere. Listen, right. I don't really care because, you know, at the end of the day, this is a soul. This is my eternal soul. It is. Someone's going to go to heaven and someone's going to go to hell. And I don't want to spend eternity in hell. And I hope yeah. you don't either. Absolutely. So listen, it's not about me, me and you fighting my about... Listen, listen, to me. About listen, listen to me. If, I, if, I, if, I, if I'm wrong about my belief, I will be Christian here and now if you can prove to me why I should be Christian. Okay, so, so here's what I'm saying to you. Listen, what I was sharing, and I'll, and I'll explain what I was sharing with everybody here. Look, man, this is just honest, man. Like, coming from someone who read the Bible from a Muslim, Okay? Literally, I'm not making this up. I was in a jail cell. There was a Muslim next to me. You know, I was just, I was born into a Christian household, but I wasn't born again. I wasn't a Christian. I was just doing my own thing. He had a New Testament Bible. I bought, I said, can I borrow that? And I read it. I read it. My mom was Christian. That's why I read it, right? I read it. I got convicted and I placed faith in God. Sure, sure. Okay. No, 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 no. We can, you know, I know. It's a, it's a main point there. there. You really want to go there right now? Or you, you want me to explain? Come on, bro. We, we've heard all this. This is old stuff. You can go on the net. Everybody knows. Everybody knows all the different arguments. Is that, I don't think, you know what? I'm bringing something new here. We've heard all the Zakir arguments and, you know, where did Jesus say, I am God, where did you be? That's, that's old. That's old. All the no, no, Ahmed D. That arguments. Listen, here's what I'm saying, man. Look, man, this is my story. Listen, man, and I, and I found God. And I repented of my sins, and I lived a clean life. Amen. And listen, I follow God until this day. Now listen, I'll tell you why. Listen, I'll tell you why. Listen, for me, no, no, not my feelings. I'll give you my story, and I'll tell you why. Listen, my story is a real story of a former criminal that became a Christian. Okay? Real story. I found hope that God loved me. God said he would forgive me, and I believed. And he showed me that he forgave me in Jesus Christ. Okay? Number one. I didn't know all the history, I didn't know all this argument, but I believe that God loved me and he gave me a second chance. He gave me faith and I believe. That's it. Okay, that's starting. Now, as I started to go along and I met Muslim people and I started reading the Quran, certain questions came to my mind. Okay, I told you the story about how I got into all this stuff with all this Muslim. I could care less. When I first saw a Muslim lady, and this is to credit many Muslim practices, 
I said, wow, that's how a respectable woman should dress. I was shocked. And I was like, wow, that's, you know, that's pretty good. So all the Muslim ladies out there, my respect, okay? My respect. Okay, so that's true. Now, so I'm, I'm not one guy that's just kind of just trying to find things. I'm an honest guy. So as I started to read the Quran, and people say, well, he's the final prophet, and this is the final revelation. And I was like, okay, well, what makes this the final revelation? And it's like, well, you know, he's saying the same message that you guys said. But then I was like, well, if I, this is logic. If it has the same message I already said, then why do I need your message? Oh, well, this is completing the message. But then as I look and I start to look at certain details in the Quran, it's not explained. It doesn't explain anything to do with the previous history. But I'm like, well, how does it complete it? And, and it doesn't. But then some Muslims would say, well, well, we don't need to know those details. But I'm like, well, then how am I going to understand, you, understand this message and know the significance of this religion if there's no explanation? So then I read the Quran and it says, well, you know, Muhammad, if you're in doubt concerning anything, ask the people of the book, the Jews and the Christians. So that means that the Jews and the Christians have something that Muslims need in order to explain their very revelation. So I'm like, okay, so if you have the same revelation and all that the Quran gives me is belief in one God and Tawheed, okay, but the, the Bible even says Tawheed. It never says Trinity in the Bible. It doesn't say the word Trinity. It just says believe in one God. How about, how, about, how about the concept of Trinity? Is it there? Yeah, sure. I mean, the concept. I mean, this can be debated, right? The debated. Some people. That's why we have Jehovah Witnesses using that's the Bible. That's your main belief. Listen to me. Yeah, I believe in the truth. Fine. I do. But but let's just put. Let's put it's that. In the Bible. Come on, man. Listen. Come listen. On, man. I will answer you. Well, come on, can I answer you? So he is all over the Quran. Can I answer you? Yeah, man. Look, man. Let this be discussion one way. Yeah. yeah listen. Listen to me. There's different sects of Christianity. There's oneness Christianity. There's there's uh, Jehovah Witness or what they call Arianism, and there's there's also Trinitarian. I'm Trinitarian. And I'll tell you, there's reasons why. But anyway, um, I'll, I'll get to that soon. So, no matter which way you spin it, the Bible makes it very clear there's only one God. All the time. Every time the, 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 num, 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 uh, the numerical number of God is mentioned, it's always one. Always. Okay. So, so the Quran doesn't really... Listen. So now we're dealing with uh, understanding the concept of oneness or understanding God and this is where we get into different theology. Are you saying Trinity is not mentioned in the Bible? It's not mentioned in the Bible. So what uh, the word? So what do you believe in? Uh, okay. You want me to you want me to explain that now or yeah, you, of course can, can I okay, I'll get that's, that's, that's not even no. look, friend, that's okay, I'll make, I'll, okay I'll make it very clear. The reason why I believe in the Trinity um, is because in order for you to know God there needs to be some kind of authenticating revelatory source to reveal God. That's the reason why, in a very small nutshell. So I believe that God reveals himself and makes himself known. That's why I believe it. So if I just say that God is, 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 is transcendent and beyond us, then there would, it would be literally impossible for a human being that's finite to even know he exists. So somehow he has to bridge the gap and make himself known. So that's the, the basis of the truth. And do you agree with me that as a non-Christian person, when I hear that, I would naturally ask you, how do you substantiate that claim? Because a claim like that has to be given proof. Right. Yeah? Right. So, for example, if I say to you, in the Quran, if you read it, there's no doubt whatsoever who is God. There's no doubt whatsoever who is a prophet. There's no doubt whatsoever of the fundamental beliefs of the Muslim. It's clearly mentioned in the Quran. We have six pillars of faith that you have to believe in in order to be a Muslim. Number one, you believe in God. Number two, you believe in angels like Gabriel, Michael, and all these angels. Number three, that you believe in all the prophets, from Adam to Abraham to Noah to David to Jesus to Moses, all of them. And then the fourth one, that you believe in the Day of Judgment and heaven and hell, etc. And uh, sorry again, number uh, number four, that you believe in the books, that like Torah, the Injil, the Zabur of David. And number five, you believe in the, the heaven and hell, the Day of Judgment. And the sixth and final, you believe in predestination. Six periods of faith, all of them clearly mentioned in the Quran. When I look at Christian theology, I see three main concepts. Number one, the Trinity, right? Uh, number two, original sin. Number three, crucifixion. When I read the Bible from start to finish, yeah, I see these three concepts very, very ambiguous. Very ambiguous. The Trinity, firstly, non-existent non-existent original sin contradictory you have certain verses talks about it other verses that contradict it the crucifixion very ambiguous it's not clear cut at all so my question is to my dear christian friends how can we believe 
in a religion where the three main principles of its theology is not clearly outlined? Yeah, yeah, it's a good question. I mean, it, it sounds like you are trying to find out about Christianity from theological textbooks with language that that is um, uh, brought about by systematic understanding of it, and, and instead of just going to the Bible itself. Like if you just read the Bible, just like me as a young man, it's very simple to know that there's one God. It's very simple to know that the God loves you and is forgiven. It's very simple. I didn't. You don't. You didn't. I didn't need to understand all the dynamics of Trinity and all that one uh, original sin. There's some things that are just inherent. For instance, if you were to, uh, where are you born from? Uh, it, does, oh, it doesn't matter. Let, let's just say you're born in London, and you born. You grew up in a ghetto, right? Um, what you, what you, have is what is going to be inherited or given to your kids, right? Naturally, okay. They're, your kids are going to receive what you have. Okay, if you were, uh, let's say, uh, Barack Obama, Barack Obama's on the, um, uh, let's say he was the president, right? Whatever decisions he makes affects everybody else in the nation, okay, whether they like it or not. If you have certain genetic d dispositions, in fact, the reason why people look a certain way, you pass that down through your DNA. HIV or certain uh, diseases are a good example that those go through the bloodstream. And so even you can look at uh, scientific data about people that have drunken problems. Um, these people, uh, for some reason, it seems as though the tendency or the, the uh, disposition of drunkenness seems to be in their children for some bizarre reason. And, and, and so we get into this argument of nature versus nurture. Let me just say that I'll take my hat off to this gentleman, this brother. He's a very good speaker, very eloquent. But do you see how he, he, he did answer my question? I said, that in Islam, our theology is clearly, clearly, clearly outlined. However, in Christianity, it is not. No, Why not? I was, I was just about to. Yes. So, no, I was trying to explain the, the idea because it seems like you're, like I said, like you kind of brought me off thinking, I was like, do you really want me to answer that now? Because, because I, 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 I mean, know. it's just going to go off on no, a. No, no, but I need and, to know. This is what. This okay, is what so, that's, so that's just all I'm trying to say is look, if you can, un do you understand what I just said? about dispositions, about genetics, about DNA, uh, about a president making a decision and affecting everybody in the land. Do you have, do you understand that? But, my brother, no, but do you, I'll answer your question, I will, 100%. I will, I will. But do you understand that? No, but what does that have to do with my question? About okay, why is it, I will, I, I'll explain. Why is it that your theology, original sin, trinity, crucifixion, is so ambiguous, if not non-existent in the Bible? Why? Right, right, right. Okay. First of all, certain things are not ambiguous, but for you it is. But but, but you didn't answer my question. Well, I'm, I'm trying to answer... Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm trying to answer your question. Uh, no, I'm not in time debates. I'm not into that. Um, listen, like I was saying to you, man, do you understand what I was just saying? I, I'm not putting you in a corner. Like, I don't care. Like, it doesn't mean that original sin is true or not. But do you understand what I'm saying? Honestly, uh, I don't understand what you're saying. because. So you don't understand DNA? No, I understand the end, but I don't understand what does it have to do with my question. Okay, I will, I, I'll show you what it has to do with the question, but do you understand that DNA that you have is passed down to your children, if you have them? Yes, I do. Do you understand that yeah. sometimes disease can go through the bloodline? Uh, in some cases, yes. Do you understand that, uh, that some genetic predispositions can go through the bloodline? In some cases, yes. Right. Okay, do you understand that if a president makes a decision, it affects everybody in a country? Well, that's, that, that's obviously debatable because the president, as we know, uh, doesn't have complete authority. Yeah. Okay. Yes, okay, how about this? When when United States decided to go to war with Iraq, did that affect the American citizens? Uh, did that affect the American citizens? Well, it depends on which is it. I mean, if you talk about the low class, yes, but the upper class, no. Okay, okay let's put that aside. Yeah. So you understand to some degree, probably 80 to 90% of what I was saying. And so what I'm trying to show you is in the Bible, we do see that when people made decisions, sinful decisions, it affected all of humanity. Let's, for instance, take from the Quran when Adam was cast out of, out of paradise, according to you. We would have been in paradise today, but because of Adam's decision, we're not. No, but we don't believe that it was just Adam's fault. We believe it was both Eve and Adam's fault. Okay, that's even better. So Adam and Eve sinned, and because of their decision, we suffer on this hellhole earth that is partly good and partly bad, but it's not paradise because of them. Am I am I right? Okay, so okay. So you're saying to me that why is it that the, the pillars of Christianity are are not clearly stated in scripture? But I'm saying, wait a second, 
um, the effects of sin are very clear in Scripture. In fact, Adam, when he sinned, they saw that they were cast out of the garden. When um, Cain and Abel sinned, we saw that not only did someone die, but one line uh, was cursed, and the other line after the other child that came was blessed. We do see the results of what Israel has done when one king sinned. We saw the whole nation fell into corruption. So we see the effects of sin, and that's why Jesus... So, what I'm trying to say to you is that's why Jesus came to be a savior for all of humanity. You really represented the true belief of original sin. Do you accept and do you agree with me that no soul shall bear the burden of another soul? Yes or no? 100% agree. And I know where you're going. Yeah. And, and, and the context of that is not... Sin. Listen. But sir, but I mean, Listen, the context... That's not, that's do you want me to explain it? Yeah, or do you want to learn or no? No, but I'm here to teach. Do you accept? We don't believe in the original sin. Okay, okay, good. You don't believe in original sin, and that's fine, man. I mean, you can believe whatever you want to believe, right? But, but back to what I was trying to say, and then you interrupted, and I and I took sorry, the time. Sorry, sorry. And, and you should be a bit more um, honest about and represent what the original sin really is. No, no, I don't represent yeah, people's because, labels. I represent what the Bible that says. We inherited. Adam's sin. That's yeah. what you believe. What I do believe is this. Yeah. I believe that we we reap the consequences of our ancestors and because of what they do, we're, we're now in predispositions that lead us to make certain decisions. Right. And because of that, we are called sinners. We have a nature or a DNA that's inherited from our ancestors. Nobody can deny that. And because of that, we need deliverance as a human race. It's just like if somebody came and delivered the black people and gave them liberation. Listen, black people had a certain condition. Martin Luther King rose up or Mahatma Gandhi rose up and he deliberated the people. Jesus was, Jesus, not Malcolm X, sorry, uh, Mahatma why, why, Gandhi. Why didn't you say Malcolm X? Because I don't, I, don't, I don't espouse his teachings. That's why I didn't say it. Okay, God, God, God bless you, Mr. Gambia. Listen. <laughs> I said, God bless you, Mr. Gambia. I've been blessed with Malcolm X. Okay, good for you. Amen, brother. Awesome. We love the brother as well. We love him. Awesome. Anyway, man. Um, yeah, people. But, but my point is, is that's what, listen, that's why Christians believe what we believe. That we believe a liberator came. Now, I think it's the same concept, if we're all honest, why prophets come for nations. To, to liberate them with the word and to give them to new life. And so, those things, to be honest, um, they come forth from the text, okay? The Bible doesn't say original sin. The Bible doesn't say trinity. The Bible doesn't say whatever the other thing you... What was the, I don't even know the other thing you said. It doesn't say these words. Trinity and crucifixion. But let's, let's, let's take the truth. Well, the Bible does talk about very clearly that Jesus died. But, but the point I'm trying to make, listen, I was going back. I was going... Okay, I was going back because you, you took me on another topic and you said you're coming to teach. Yeah, I didn't invite you to teach. <laughs> with all due respect, I'm, I'm here to <laughs> with teach all due respect. People, I know you are. What's your name, by but the way? My we, we know my, my name is David. David. Nice yeah. And name. what's yours? Hamid. Oh, Hamid. We went, went through this, yeah, and I'm yeah. bad with names too, so yeah. I might ask you another yeah, time what's David, your name again. David, but listen, yeah. you come here to teach, yeah. but you came in my venue. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry. I David, didn't come in your venue. David, listen, look, your David, venue was David, probably over there. Look, David, I want the best for you, David. I want the best for every Christian here. When we die one day, we will have to answer for the things we believe. Now imagine if you stand in front of God and he will ask you, David, why did you take my slave Jesus, whom I sent to you, to the lost tribe of Israel? Yeah? Why did you take him as Lord when he never claimed to be God himself? Mm -hmm. What would you say to him then? You know what I'll say, my friend? I'll say this. You, you invite me to Islam. You tell me that Muhammad is the final prophet. So I say, what's, what substantiates your claim that he's the final prophet? Oh, you say, well, the, the, the books. But then I ask you about the books. Oh, they don't exist. Okay, so nothing substantiates your claim. Then you tell me that, oh, well, no, the books do exist, but they're corrupted. So I'm like, okay, David, so... I didn't, I didn't ask about no, that. You I, didn't I answer that. Question, David. Okay. No, yeah. I'm, I'm giving you the... You see, you see every time I try to answer you... We're not, we're not asking questions. Listen. You, do, do you, okay, how about, how about this? How about this? Do you just want... Do you just want me to... I would like you to stick to the topic, David. Listen, I actually, I was on my own topic. You didn't stick to the topic. No, I didn't stick to no, the topic. No, no, you didn't. You changed the topic. And, the topic. and I'm here to teach, and I didn't invite you to teach in my, in, in my pulpit. Right. You forced yourself, and you hijacked my conversation. Again! Well, I mean, David, before due respect, this is Speaker's Corner. No, no, actually, it's on a sidewalk. <laughs> speaker's Corner is over there. Sidewalk is here. Right. So, so now you're on my pulpit. So, I'm a street preacher. 
No, I moved it because there's hijackers all over the place, and I don't, I don't want to be bombed with hijacking. No, but David, look, the thing is this. Yeah, look, it's no, I take questions, and as you can see, I am. And and he, and here we are again. So listen, I was teaching something, and you came and forced your teachings on me. Right. Because you know what? But I didn't. No, oh, there's reasons for that. But, but but guess what? But guess what? I don't care about your reasons. You know why I don't care about your reasons? Because I'm preaching, and you need to listen to me. No, but David, I'm here to teach you. Now, teach no, but I don't, I didn't, I, you know, you can't force. You see, the difference with Christianity is Jesus, I'm forcing. Okay, yeah, because you're ignorant. Listen, the reason why, listen, the reason why I don't come into your discussions and force it, because I believe that Jesus is not a forceful Lord. He knocks at the door at your heart. Now, you think forcing into discussion, you said it's okay to do it. Because you're following your final prophet, Muhammad, who forced himself on true. nation. It's David, not true. David, come on. David, it's not true. David, okay. You believe, now, now you want me to believe. David, you, you want believe, me to be ignorant. You, believe you just told me David, on David, camera wait, 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 that the Quran is against Christians, and you told yeah. me. Against Christians. You told me. Come on, brother. Come on, man. Look, I'm honest, man. Just be honest. No, it's not honest. You hijacked my conversation. I said the Quran is against you. Your theology. Okay, you're live. Or maybe I didn't make myself clear because you didn't listen to me. Okay. Yeah? okay. I'm making it clear. It's against Christian theology. Okay. So we hear often Christians claim the Quran, there are some verses which seem to indicate that Muslims should go and ask the Christians and the Jews about the scripture. I'm saying that is wrong. That's wrong. So you shouldn't ask the Christians and the Jews about my scripture. No, I'm saying, look. The Quran is a final testament, yeah, that orders and commands the previous people to accept it. Now it's up to you if you don't want to accept it. But on the day of judgment, you will be amongst the losers, David. Okay, okay. You said okay, listen, you you made that statement, my friend. You made the statement twice. Oh, hold on a second. You made the statement twice. And you never answered me, David. Okay. I keep trying to answer you, but you, you don't like how I want to answer. Because you go off topic. No, no, no. I don't go off topic. I'm actually trying to explain to you. Because you asked me about original sin, so I was breaking it down for you. Actually, so I that, asked, so asked that you about the Trinity. Oh, come but on. You why do you have to keep talking? You, you I'll get a headache like Listen, that. The Trinity, no, how, how are we going to talk? What about the Trinity? First of all, first of all, I wasn't even talking to you. That's number one. And number two, if you're going to force a conversation. You asked me to come in and speak to you. I didn't ask yes, you to come in and speak to you. <laughs> you did. Listen, what's your name again? Hamid. I already knew that. Yeah, David. I actually yeah. memorized your name. Yeah. Okay, Hamid, listen. I tried to answer you about original sin, but you didn't like. Oh, Trinity, okay. Trinity. Hold on. David, Trinity. Stop. 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 Come on. Okay. I can't even. I can't even finish a sentence. Why don't you want to talk about the Trinity, David? Why not? No, it's not that I don't want to. So let's talk about the Trinity. I, okay. Look, I just gave you. I gave you a quick answer. Listen to me. Listen to me. I gave you a quick answer about the Trinity, very. Quickly, like no, you awesome. okay, stop, stop. You even admitted it's not in the Bible, yeah. David. I can't have conversations. Like David, you admitted it's not in the Bible. Listen, 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 listen. listen. Cool. Can I? Can I? Can I just finish what I was saying? Can I? Can I actually talk about what I was saying? Yeah, but you want to teach, but I didn't invite you. <laughs> but sometimes a teacher has to force on his students something, otherwise the student won't listen. But I'm not your student. Well, in life you are. I'm your student in life. No, listen. I'm your student in life? Because I have the truth, you don't. You have the truth? Yes. Okay. Let me, okay, how about this, how about this, how about this? Why should I believe your truth? Tell me. Why you should? Tell me. Because our Lord, my Lord and your Lord says that. Allah says in the Quran to, to Jesus, he said, yeah, Inna Allah Rabbi wa Rabbukum. Allah says to Jesus, yeah, that Jesus said, Indeed, Allah is my Lord and your Lord to so worship Him. This is the straight path. That's what Jesus said. So because it says in the Quran something, I should just assume that's the truth? No, obviously that's not proof. So, so tell I me why I should believe in okay. your book. Because you should believe in my book from even a rational perspective. Because the Quran has a concept of God which goes in line with human nature. Okay, tell me, about, tell me about human nature. Right, human nature is this. That as human beings, even you as a Trinitarian, you accept there's only one God. Talk, talk, talk to me about human nature from right. your, why I should human, believe in the Quran. Right, human nature is this. Even if you ask an atheist or agnostic who doesn't believe in anything. If you ask them, Mr. Atheist, do you accept for argument's sake that if there was a creator, would this creator be one and unique and all-knowing and all-powerful? All he will say yes. Why? 
because he knows from a rational perspective if there was more than one god there will be what conflict and confusion yes yes that's okay. why okay. No, 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 no. No, no. That's, that's fine he, that's okay okay so that so that's fine okay that so that's why i should believe that no no but i haven't finished okay. go ahead now this is number one so our concept of theology that there's only one unique creator without any ifs and buts we don't say that god can become a man or can become a sheep or can become a cow because god only does that which befits his majesty Sure. So we cannot make any claims about God Almighty unless what He Himself has revealed. So God has never ever indicated to us that He became a man, yeah, that He became some kind of spirit that flew around in the sky. He never indicated this. And this is something we say irrational belief. Okay, okay, again. So I asked you, why should I believe in the Quran? And you're like, well, because God said so. Or why should I believe in Muhammad or whatever? I don't know how the question was spun something along that line why should I believe in Islam yeah. and you said because the Quran says this and because the Quran says right. this and God never said this right because we know according to the Quran, right. Right. no no man I listen to you dude right. I listen to you dude right. so because the Quran never said that or said or made a statement about something that's why I should believe in the Quran no you should believe in the Quran because we know objectively that it's from God Almighty you know objectively know that objectively the Quran the Quran is, is from God Almighty How? yes well if you look at the Quran, in the structure of the Quran, for example, the linguistic miracle of the Quran, yeah, you have so many people throughout history that attested to the mir miraculous nature of the Quran. Like who? Like for many people. Like I mean, if you look at, for example, many uh, Arab linguists, yeah, that you know, even in Source University, there's many of them. If you if you study, if you if you, if you read their works, they will tell you that the literally miracle of the Quran is unmatchable. Okay, so I, I can. Okay, so I can. Okay, I can. I can admit that the Quran has a beautiful structure and it's a. It's very poetic. I. I it sounds pretty cool when people sing it. Okay, so. So what? What do you mean so what? So just listen, man. I, I hear a lot of amazing rap songs that nobody that I know on this planet could match. Listen, listen to me, man. And the and the skill of making those beats and the way it makes you move. Listen. It, 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 it's 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 really awesome, and and, and, and there's and hold on, and, and there's po and there's English scholars and and there's poets that like wow these guys. That's why they're 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 Grammy Award winners, and they, and they have so so what? Right, David. Now a rap song like for example Tupac, yeah, is if I said Tupac was the best rapper of all time, that's a subjective thing to say, isn't it? Very right. So someone must say, well, I thought Biggie was the best rapper of the world. True, right? But when it comes to the Quran. There's nothing that can match the Quran. According to who? Okay, so so this is okay. Let, listen, man. Look, 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 man. This is this is subjective. Look, it's not subjective. It's subjective. subjective. No, no. Listen, man. That, that okay. No, hold on. Can you name me one thing? My friend, my friend, my friend. Look, 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 look. Hey, hey. Look. First of all, I want everybody to remember for the record. I was in my own discussion. I got hijacked again. Okay, he's bringing me off onto things, and, and I'm like, I'm trying to work with it, but listen, to be honest, man, look, man, look, I want to fit, I'll let you say what you got to say quickly, but, but look, man, I, I'm not interested to fight with you. If, you. if you are, listen, if you already believe that the Quran is the final book and there's nothing I can say that would switch your mind, then, then why are you even here? Like, you're not going to convert me like that. Listen, so all I got to say to you is, look, I'm here, I'm here, listen. Can I just say something? What, what would you... So, okay, are we done? No, do you want to do it? I just want to do it. What do you want to do? Okay, okay. No. one second. Can I, can I hold it? Oh, you want to hold yeah, it? Yeah, I'll fine. hold it. But, but listen, I wanna, I, I'm want i going to go back to what I'm preaching. All right. That's fine. First of all, you, you're allowing me to speak, yeah? Because what it is is... Not exactly. I mean, I'm kind of like pushing a corner, right? No, no, no one's pushing a corner. Okay, so... David, we want the best Okay, so, so right. can I just finish what I'm going to preach then? Yeah, you can. Of course you can. Okay, how about I do that? I've been patiently waiting, actually. Okay, can I do that then? You can. I mean, the thing is, look, can I say something? Can I get camera? So I don't have a choice. Bro, of course, yeah. You okay, can, so you can, can I go? Can I go preach? Are you, why are you trying to make it? Here? <laughs> here, I'm trying to ask you a question as a Christian. Now, whether you think that I am allowed to have a conversation with you or not, you've come to a place where literally conversation is the key. Sure. So you can. And, and this whole place, people are listening. Do you get me? So I look. The thing is, what my friend told me, he comes from Canada as well, which I'm guessing you're from, yeah? Sure. He told me that you're, what you do online is that you go to people who have very weak English skills, who are Muslims, and then you interrogate them on the streets of Toronto. Now my point is, look, here we are specialized in, in polemics and debate. 
you've come to the right place to discuss with Muslims their religion. So now, which one? Are you talking about the, the Samaritans or the debate? No. Which one? I think you know what I'm saying here. No. Okay, go, I'll, let, I'll listen. Okay, what I'm saying to you here and now is that whether you, whether you believe that I will convert to Christianity or not, that sometimes is aside from the point. I might think in my heart and myself that you're never going to be a Muslim. Yet I discuss the issue of Christianity and Christian theology versus Muslim theology for the benefit of everyone around. What does this have to do with the Samaritan movement? I was just telling you, I hope that you weren't taking that kind of sentiment. Was that just to kind of give me something to think that you're asking a question and then you're going to go spit it off to something else that has nothing no, to do I wanna, with the question? I, I wanted to actually expound on the point that just you the asked. Samaritan woman? No. The, the Samaritan so why did you even mention that? The I mentioned the Samaritan woman to show you that there is some basis in the biblical discourse for getting rid of people who are non-Gentile or who are non-Jewish, Gentiles. So maybe, I know this would be quite ironic being a Gentile yourself, Maybe you got this kind of message and that's why you don't want to speak to any of the Muslims and you want to teach them and you don't want to listen. Oh, no, 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 no. Actually, many Muslims are listening to me right now and Good. they're they're actually people that want to learn. Okay. Now, what I, when so I came... About, listen, why don't we you, know, you want to listen to me other. for a second? Of course I can. I, when I came here, man, this is the first time I'm in Speaker's Corner. I hear both things. And to be honest, I struggle with the concept of Speaker's Corner for one reason. Because why is everybody sitting in a park? First of all, it seems like the government wants everybody to stay in a park mm -hmm. and people should be on the street preaching to people. I don't even agree with sitting in a park and, okay. and secluding yourself. I'd rather just preach on the street. Fine, okay. Second, these people are arguing with each other in little corners. Everybody's just arguing over the same thing over and over and over and coming every single week. And I'm like, you know what, man? This is kind of silly. I mean, there's so many people in there. Well, so many Christians that if you actually went around, you could probably convert London in a day. But you guys are all arguing with each other over the same things. And none of y'all are going to even convert anyway. So, so you know what? I'm going to preach the gospel to people that want to learn. So I, I made a decision. I was like, you know what? This is nonsense. I, I, I listened. I went by everybody, and I listened to them for a bit. Oh, no. I, I went by, and I listened a bit, and I see people arguing passionately. And you know what, man? I never got into preaching the word to just argue. Yeah, of course. I, know, I, I got into preaching the word so to see people come to God. So, 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 so yeah. that's my answer. When, when I, when I was talking, I have no problem taking. Yeah. And, and first of all, the accusation that I only talk to ignorant people. First of all, I preach on a street and people come to me. Okay. That same guy, so I'm that, I'm here, that same, now. that same guy, that same guy, whoever, wherever he is, came to me many times, and I've debated him publicly Fine. on video, and he keeps losing. So he's upset. Okay, well, you know, can I say so, so now I all of a sudden, I, 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 now all of a sudden, now many times, and, and I've seen uh, Sadat, and now I see this guy in London. I'm like, whoa, you serious? And, now, and then he's following me, man. Like, I mean, did he come all the way from me? And he, and he comes in my discussion. David, he's been here for a long time. David, do you mind if I just say something? He's got family here. Discussion, and sometimes it does go into a debate. I'll tell you our perspective is we, we, be, we have an ideology, a theology, which we believe is strong enough to withstand criticism. Sure. And if you believe the same about Christianity, you should not be afraid of engaging in discussion mm -hmm. with someone who believes something different to you. You shouldn't always talk down to someone mm -hmm. as if to teach them and not believe that you can receive an edifying experience yourself. I mean, that's a very, to be honest with you, mm -hmm. unchristian, arrogant stance, I believe. Because I think Christianity, to be frank and honest with you, yeah, is a religion of humility. And this is what it says in the Quran, by the way. The Quran it says that that is because from the Christians there are there are monks and rap, uh, and uh, and priests and they don't uh, they're not arrogant. So one of the things that the Quran teaches us about Christians is they're not they're not arrogant. So to be honest with you, I was quite shocked because you're quite a personality, right? You're known in the in the community that you're speaking down at people and telling that you're a teacher because there's nothing I can learn from you. All these kind of things. I can I've I've been brought up and raised for the most part in this country for the most part. My teachers were homosexuals, atheists, Christians, and some Muslims. And I've learned from all of them, right? So I would, I'm standing here in front of you. I know that you might not agree with me theologically, but I hope that we don't, ha we don't reduce ourselves to the uh, intellectual scribbling of saying that, you know, we can't teach each other anything at all. I think that's an arrogant statement. No, no, here's what I'm saying, man. Look, um, first of all, I'm not arrogant and I'm not afraid, okay? I wouldn't come all the way here if I was afraid. I'm not afraid, okay? okay so just, just clear that up. If you think I'm arrogant, I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's subjective. No, I, I didn't say you're arrogant. Okay, I'm not. I said it was an arrogant statement. So you could be no, no, someone okay. who's... No, no, okay. No, no, my point... You could be someone who's a good listen, man, okay. but you got an arrogant get it, statement. I get it. Yeah. So basically what I'm saying is, look, yeah. when I'm in the middle of a dialogue... Yes, sir. Or not in a dialogue, in the middle of what I'm saying... Yes, sir. And people interfere and interrupt... Yep. Like, I have no respect for that, right? Why not? I mean, you know why? You know why? Because because it's, it's disrespect. Now, now, Jesus if you're a Muslim, no, listen, listen to me. Yeah, like, course, as a Christian, yeah. okay, love is patient. Love is kind. Okay, love is not rude. Mm. 
All right? So oh, yeah. I don't need to interrupt someone's conversation. Every time I walked around and I was observing everybody yeah. else, yeah. I didn't interrupt them. No, that's fine. Okay, now I respect what it, you got to do, you're going to do, got to do. Now, as you can see, there's people around me and I'm talking about a subject, which I got off topic, but I continually had Muslims interfere. And all that, you know, the first time... Because you came to Speaker's Corner, sir. <laughs> okay, well, if Speaker, okay, if Speaker's Corner is, is full of a bunch of arrogant Muslims no, that like to hijack conversations, hey, then guess what? Then oh, guess... No, 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 listen, why, listen. Uh, you said uh, it's Speaker's Corner, therefore, yeah, therefore, what is this? That. No holds barred, no respect, and from a bunch of religious people that have no respect? No respect. Listen, no, what so whatever you meant, because... That's a place okay, of listen challenge to me, and discussion, sir. It's not a place of monologue, That's listen to As when I went into Speaker's Corner, I see people sitting in parks, enjoying their time, I see people speaking by themselves. Uh, Some by people the way, crazy. Uh, by the way, okay, look, look. <laughs> no, no. Here, no, no. Here, hear me out. Hear me out. With all due respect. Is this, is listen, this if all behave? if all people listen, <laughs> mockers and listen, scoffers. If, if everybody <laughs> wants to, the Bible says there will be mockers and scoffers. Listen, man. Look, you're a perfect yo, example okay, of that. Hey, man. Look, no, mockers listen and scoffers. Listen to me. Listen. Some people are crazy there. Okay, guys. Yeah, mockers guys, and scoffers. Guys, my point is, is that some people want to have these debates. Yeah. Some people don't. Some people want to preach, and some people don't. It's called speakers' speakers' corner. Can we have a discussion? Look, look, we, we, I was forced into many discussions. So you're not forced into anything. So no, you're here. You're no, no. I, I, no, you're right. Speech. You're right. I'm not forced. But every time I say, can I keep speaking, you kind of force <laughs> your view. So I don't know what to say right now. I mean, either, either I can walk away David, again. Do you want yeah. me to leave? I mean, no, you know, no, no, no. Listen, so listen. Like, you am I not welcome to be no, here? No, listen, listen. You can do whatever you want. So back to the Samaritan. Uh, so you want to Back to the Samaritan lady. No, this is not what I was no, talking no, about. No, I used that no. as a peripheral. You know what I want to do? And I said what I want to do. I want to go back to preaching what I was preaching. Yeah. Can I do Amen. that? Amen. You can do that. Okay, Amen. so Amen. let me do that. And, and if you want to stand by and listen, and maybe ask, maybe if I, I have time David, to answer just, different questions. No, 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 no. You David, need to hear no, me now. No, no. That's not nice. Because what you're doing, what you're doing, no, what you're doing is you're forcing, you're forcing a debate and you're forcing a fight. David, you're holding the microphone. Come on, sir, please. I said I want to go back to what I want to do. Can, can I do that? Can I ask you a question, sir? Can I do that? You ask me a question. Can I ask you a question? I'm, no, no. You can't. David, come on. That's I, I, so you're forcing me. Okay. David, <laughs> David, come on, David. I'm joking. David, I just wanted to just. God bless you, man. Make one point, sir. So, anyway, I'm going back to what I wanted to preach <laughs> since I'm not being forced. <laughs> going back. Going back to what I was preaching. I took about 30 minutes of my time to answer questions, and I answered the questions. David, take care, man. I had all the best. Thank you. All the best. Thank you. Thank you. So I took my time to answer the questions, and the questions didn't get anybody anywhere. Okay. So unfortunately, we're going to deal with what I was saying. Since you guys love it so much. Kill every infant, child, woman, even donkeys. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of when I was in grade two. <laughs> and uh, there were these bullies that used to come uh, to my school and they used to try to force me to fight and throw things down to force me and listen everything that these guys threw is, is, is like child's play uh, I don't think they're on my level to even reason about things on a rational level so that, that's not a threat to me I'm not afraid I deal with these things all the time you guys watch my videos that's not an issue the, the issue that I see here is that people just don't want to really reason they don't want to learn they don't want to have real dialogues and you know what? It's a waste of my time. There are actually people here that are listening from the Islamic background, Christian background. And so why is it, again, going back to what I was saying, why won't I become a Muslim and why don't I believe in the Quran? It's because there's no logical reason. I, I gave him the opportunity. Give me the best reason. Give me a reason why I should believe in the Quran. And all he could give me was, I don't even remember what he said because it just wasn't convincing at all. Oh, the, the best point he gave was that the Quran said, or that it's very poetic. And, and you know what? So, so here's the interesting thing. The interesting thing is, if that is the only reason why I should believe in the Quran and Islam, that's not a good reason at all. In fact, that's not substantial. It's not uh, strong. What is it? What is it? Not to what, what did you say? The Quran is a linguistic miracle. A linguistic miracle. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Poetry, poetry can always be reproduced. Yeah? Okay, but linguistic miracles are different. But a what is a miracle? A miracle is defined as something which lies outside the productive capacity of mankind. Okay, so, so can I ask you something? Because for 1400 years, the Quran makes a challenge to people that if you doubt that this is from God, be 
bring you witnesses and your supporters and produce one chapter like it. And the shortest chapter of the Quran is only three verses. For 1400 years, people have been unable to produce three verses, only three verses, three verses that matches the linguistic, literally miracle of the Quran. Is that what you believe? I know. Listen, I know. Okay, okay, bring me one. It's a bring me linguistic one. miracle. Bring me one. Okay, okay, that's fine. Look, man, there's, there's, there, if you want to hear my reasons there. why I won't believe if in the Quran, I'll tell you. I will leave Shakespeare is a linguistic miracle. No, Shakespeare has been matched. Shakespeare has been reproduced by other people. Yeah, to be or not to be has been matched and has been reproduced. Yes. Okay, so back to what I was saying. So there's logical reasons why I wouldn't believe the Quran is the Two final revelation. There's logical Christian. reasons why I would not believe Muhammad is the final prophet, and I explained those he's extensively. Your Bible, Bible and so, so, he's so your now Bible. he's bringing. No, where, listen, where? he's bringing. Isaiah 42. Okay, first, okay, you want to just you, you just want to preach over me? Well, let me. Okay, listen, Hamid, Hamid, Hamid. Yeah. Why do you feel? Why do you feel that you need to hijack my conversation? Like what? what what's so? Like there's tons of people around. Here. Why do you feel? That? Because I was about to leave, yeah, we shook hands, and then next thing I know, you're talking about what I said about me saying that the Quran. And you cleared it up. Right, but and then, is I had, leave no, it because you said wrong. You said I said the Quran is poetic. And okay, linguistic mirror. It's a linguistic mirror. Okay, I, I apologize. Right. And you can please feel free to try to disprove me. Okay. I yeah. apologize, it's a linguistic miracle for you. Thank you. Okay. No, not for me, objectively. Probably. Okay, objectively, that nobody can prove, right? No one can disprove it. Okay, nobody can disprove it, nobody can prove it either. Please do. Okay, so so anyway, is that the best reason why I should leave the Quran? Is that, okay, first of all, I was preaching something, I asked you those, uh, those questions, I asked you that question, why should I believe in the Quran? You should believe in the Quran because uh, uh, Jesus in the Bible himself prophesied of another comfort to come. And in the book of Isaiah chapter 42, it speaks about someone who will come from the lineage of who? Kedar. Who is Kedar? Kedar was one of the sons of who? Ishmael. And Muhammad sallam, is from who? His lineage? Ishmael. Right. Now, read Isaiah 42, my dear Christian friends. Read Isaiah 42. Would you, would you want to read it for me? And you have your Bible? Yeah. Look up. Read, come on, Hamid. Read it first now, yeah? Don't even mention Muhammad in his Bible. So this is another reason why I should believe in Muhammad? Absolutely. His theology is going to get destroyed now, watch. Absolutely. Absolutely. Your Bible, your Bible is the proof against you, for me. Right. Isaiah 42. Behold, my servant, whom I uphold. And Muhammad, he was Muhammad ibn Abdullah. Muhammad, the son of Abdullah, the slave of Allah. Yeah? So my servant, Muhammad. Where does it say? Where does it say? Come on. 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 Guys, guys, calm down, calm down, okay? If you have, if you have the Holy Spirit, if you have the Holy Spirit within you, you seem like an unholy spirit. Right now, yeah? You seem like you have some very unholy spirits within you. The way you're behaving, yeah, you look very scary. The way you're behaving, right? So, okay, let's let's go on. Behold, my servant, whom I uphold, my elect. One in whom my soul delight. I have put my spirit upon him. He will bring forth justice to the genitals. To their genitals. Right? He will not cry out. Gentiles. Gentiles. My English is the first language. Yeah, Gentiles. Sorry, my bad. My bad. He will not cry out, nor raise his voice, nor cause his voice to be heard in the street. A bruised reed he will not break, a smoking flax he will not quench. He will bring forth justice for the truth. He will not fail, nor be discouraged. Till he has established justice in the earth, and the coastlands shall wait for his law. Thus say the God to Lord, who created the heavens and struck them out. Who spread forth the earth and that which come forth, who gives birth to the people in it, 
and spirit to those who walk on it. I, the Lord, have called you in righteousness. Right? So now that goes on. Yes, right. So now, I before we get... I'll skip. Boy, we'll skip. Okay. No, you read right, cool. from Okay, be patient now. So, where was it? I, the Lord, have called you into righteousness and will hold your hand and will keep you and give you as a covenant to the people, as a light to the Gentiles, to open blind eyes, to bring out prisoners from the prison. Those who sit in darkness from the prison house, I am the Lord, nor my praise, nor my praise to carved images. Behold, the former things have come to pass, and new things I declare before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Sing to the Lord a new song, a new song, and his praise from the ends of the earth. You who go down to the sea and all that is in it, you coastlands and you inhabitants of them, let their wilderness and its cities lift up their voice, the villages that Kedar inhabits. Listen to this. Let the wilderness and its cities lift up their voice, the villages that Kedar inhabits. Shall I continue? Let the inhabitants of Selah, Selah sing. Let them shout from the top of the mountains. Let them give glory to the Lord and declare his praise in the coastlands. The Lord shall go forth like a mighty man. Amen. He shall stir up his zeal like a man of war. He shall cry out, yes, shout aloud. aloud. He shall prevail against his enemies. Now, I can go on, but let's, for the sake of argument, let's stop here. This here is a prophecy of someone to come. My question is this. Who fits this description? Jesus! Jesus! Jesus. Jesus. Right. He's a, he's a now, a couple of things, couple of things, couple of things, yeah? You say it's Jesus. Yes. Now, he says the person will come to the inhabitants of who? Kedar. Who is Kedar? Arabs. 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 In the Mount of Salah. Where is that? Where? Medina. Who, who established a new song? He says, sing to the Lord a new song. A Sharia. He will come with a new law. Who came with a new law after Jesus? Of the Mo huh? Muhammad Sallallahu Did Jesus bring a new law? No. He said, I did not come to abolish the law. I came to fulfill the law. Of who? Of Moses. So he is from Kedar. He will bring a new law. He will overcome his enemies. Okay, I'm in, I'm in. You believe that Jesus was killed by his enemies. Okay, look. Yeah? Look, man. Okay, I listen to you. Man. You read the whole scripture. Look, man. Um, okay. Um, I don't even know where to begin here. Hey, go on, man. No, it, it's you, not, can't, you can't refute no, no, no. it, man. Dude. No, it's just you can't so. Refute no, 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 it's not even that. Who was from Kedar? Okay, hey, Hamid, are you gonna listen to me? Are you gonna listen to me? Uh, like, let's okay. learn, man. Just hold on, man. I, 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 I don't even know where to go. No, not because it's not easy to talk. You can't refute about. It's just, it, baby. It's just. Okay, I just can't believe you picked that scripture because it's so. What did you think I was gonna say? Okay. I don't know, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, maybe. But you know. But anyway, the point is, look. There's one thing that just kind of destroys the whole thing. Just one verse out of it all. It says, "I am the Lord, and that is my name, my glory." Oh, hey, man. So wait, wait a second. Wait a second. What is the name of your God? Allah. What is the name of this God? This is the thing by language. No, 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 no. Like I mean, David, David, guys, guys, calm down, calm down, calm, calm down. Let me ask a question because none of you guys speak Hebrew or Aramaic. Yeah. Now, when someone says our Lord, do you think they mean literally our God? When Jesus, when the Bible speaks about sons, yeah. Is it always literally the no, no. Can I actually educate you for yeah. a second? This is When you see, when you see in, in any like 
Bible, like King James, when you see capital L O R D, yeah. that word in the Hebrew is Yahweh. That's you wanted to read the Bible and you wanted to read the Bible. It wasn't me. I didn't I just said the show. That's a clear prophecy, yes or no. This is a prophecy, right? It's a prophecy. Well wait, wait, wait a second, wait a second. Okay, now 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 to what you said about the prophecy. Okay. First of all, it doesn't say anything that he's Look, what, but you you added to the word. It, it says, look what it says here. It says, my my servant, I'll put my spirit on. He's going to go to the Gentiles, right? He's going to yes. preach, okay? And was Jesus for the Gentiles? Listen to me. Listen, let me finish and I'll, I'll answer you, right? He says he'll bring forth justice to the Gentiles, okay? Okay, it goes on and, and he says that he will establish justice in the earth. Yes. The coastland shall wait for his law. Yeah. Okay? So those are a few things, okay? So and then, hold on, I'll, I'll answer, I'll answer all of you, okay? <laughs> it says, the Lord called you into righteousness, and I will hold your hand, and I will keep you and give you as yeah. a covenant to the people. Yeah. Was Muhammad a covenant to the people? Muhammad brought a covenant to the people. No, but it says, I will give you yeah, as a covenant. Yes. Yes. Muhammad brought the covenant. Was he the covenant? Yes, no. Muhammad came with the covenant, oh. yes. No, no. Oh. Oh. If you're gonna quote the scripture, at least okay, 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 come on, okay, man. Okay, like, I'm not trying to trick okay, you. Okay, David, you read David, it, man. David, I didn't pick it. David, David, David. Are you saying this is Jesus? It is. Right. Did Jesus come from Kedar? Where does it say he came from Kedar? Okay, he says, Read it again. Let the wilderness and its cities lift up their voice. The villages that Kedar inhabits. Let them did lift Jesus, up their voice. Right. Now, did Jesus sing to the Lord? Listen, it says, sing to the Lord a new song. Did Jesus bring a new law? Yes or no? Yeah. Do, do, you want, do you want me to show you? Okay, okay, guys. Okay, come in, come in, come in. Yeah, like, I mean, look, I can show you, but but this is. This Go is show me, show okay, me, show me. Sure. And then come back to the main point. He's going to show us that Jesus brought a new law. Yes. Yeah? Amen, bro. Amen. 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 Although he said, I did not come to abolish the law. I came to fulfill the law. Yeah. The law of who? The law of who? Moses. Moses. According to you, that there's no more law. How is that bringing a new law? Bring in a new because he fulfilled. It's done. It's done. Finish. It's plain with the word. It's finished. So there's no new law. There's, okay, so the law is finished. No, no, is the law finished? My friend, did he finish the law, yes or no? Okay, so what is the new law? It says, there is no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the spirit. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. Yes, God, the For what Christ. the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh, God did by sending his son in the likeness of sinful flesh on account of sin, he condemned sin. So we, so we see here that there's law of the spirit. And so what Christians have always understood, whether you agree with it or not. David, come on. Are you going to let me finish? David, Amen. 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 You wanted to see where it was, so there's a new law. So what we know. David, David. You, do, do you want to listen? Like, look, man. He, he, Ahmed, you, what you got to understand, look, it's not about winning at the big. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, no, okay. So listen to me. We hit you're, you're interrupting, you know what he does? No, I'm saying, sorry, we then you want to go interrupt. No, no, okay, but let me finish. finish. Teach me, teach me. Okay. Teach me. So listen. Amen. Amen. When Moses uh, received the law from God, he went on Mount Sinai and came down, all right? And the law he broke, uh, he broke the tables, and he went back up and received it again. This is what we learned from in the Torah, whether you knew that story or not, okay? Now, Jesus came down and went up to heaven, and then he gave the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is what Jesus consistently promised that he would give his believers who believe in him. This is repeated over and over that we would receive a new covenant and the Spirit of God would dwell in us. And that that is what Paul is talking about, is the law of the Spirit of life. He gives us new life uh, through what Jesus Christ, hold on, what Jesus Christ did on the cross. And that's why we believe we have the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKodesh, the Ruach living inside of us. So that is the law of the Spirit. Can, can you please show that in the Bible? Yeah, I just did. No, you didn't. I did. no, no, because you were meant to show me 
the other uh, parts where Jesus prophesied about the coming of the Spirit? No, you because uh, we said that that prophecy in Isaiah 42 oh, was talking about someone who will come from Kedar, yeah, who will come from oh, you want to go back there in 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 Medina, and he will bring a new law. Okay, yes? so it never said he's coming from Kedar. It never said he's going to Medina. The inhabitants of Kedar in Mount It said, let them sing praise yeah, okay. because yeah. they would receive in Mount Sela. the new law. Mount Sela is where. Let Medina. Me, okay, let me ask you something. Was Christianity ever preached in, in Medina before Muhammad? Yes, it was, yeah. Yes, it was, yeah. So that answers your question. Second question is, okay, is no, this, was Muhammad given as a covenant? No, no. Yes Jews, or no? Was Muhammad Jews, the covenant? Muhammad was given a new covenant, yes. Was he the covenant? What do you mean, was he the covenant? What do you it mean? says the person that's going to come will be the yeah, covenant. Listen, obviously, look. So that's is, number two. Number three, is, what is, is the name of your God? This is just a kind of... God, is your, your God named Yahweh David, or is it Allah? David, David, look. You cannot use a translation of the Bible. Yeah. Do you want to in, see it in Hebrew? In, in, in yes. So, but okay. the thing can is, someone you know, give me another uh, Google. Well, you know please? Hebrew. Yeah, you I know can know read Hebrew? it. Yeah. Okay, that's lovely. That's fine. Can you? Uh, no, I can't. Can you at least recognize the words if I show you? Uh, no, I can't. Okay. All right. Well, I'm still going to show you anyway, just so you can verify it. Okay. Yeah, sure. Just can someone give me a Google? I'm just going to pull up a, a a Tanakh in Hebrew. Let me just. Jesus quoted the prophecy of what was that 42 but the main issue is that he will come to the inhabitants of Kedar it doesn't even say so that it's specifically a, it, yes it does like, yeah. no, no, no. let the wilderness of Kedar rejoice yeah that he will come for the Arabs he will come for the Arabs but David, the lineage David, of Ishmael Jesus, the David already said, Jesus according to the, came for the whole world. Bible came only for the no, Israelites no, no. the lost tribe of Israel. Israelites and Gentiles. Oh, so 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 the for the Gentiles and for, 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 for the Jews. The Bible says, for I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ was the power of God wants of salvation. First to the Jew, then to the Greek. The, the Greek is Gentiles, okay, this, this is easier for you. This is very easy for you. Okay, this is just breaks it down for you. So, this is, this is the word for Yahweh. When you see the Lord, so I'm not lying, there's Yahweh. So this breaks it down. Is my name Shem and my glory? So there you go. So that's what Yahweh looks like. They call that the tetragrammaton. So anytime you see, just for learning, if you see the capitals, that is the name Yahweh. Right. So okay. that's what Jews and Christians know is the name of God. That's it. Who, Jews and what? Jews and Christians know that that's the name of God. What, as Yahweh. Well, Yahweh. Right. Okay. Now how, now, how does that disprove my point that I was making? Well, it proves it because he says, my name is Yahweh. So your, the name of your God is not Yahweh. No, no, yes. no. Right? And, and second, okay. so it, it, whoever it's talking about, look, I'm not trying to trick you, I'm not trying to trap you. Yeah. Whoever it's talking about, yeah. it's talking about a God named Yahweh, and it's talking yeah. about someone who is going to be for a the covenant. Arabs? Who came that for the Arabs? It didn't say he's going to in live Medina? or even preach specifically uh, in Medina. Medina. It doesn't even say that. Can you it read does. it again, okay. please? Oh, let's read it again. Let's read it again. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, no. oh, my God. The truth hurts. No, it, it doesn't. doesn't. Hurt. Oh, yes, it does. Oh, yes, it does. Look, man. Look, all it, all it says is that you know What's he's going to bring forth justice to the Gentiles. Yeah. As far as uh, as he far as he will overcome his enemies. Okay, yes. as far as we know, okay, did let's, Jesus let's, overcome okay. his enemies? Yes, yeah, he did. He he overcame the the root of every enemy, which no, is no, no. sin. Hallelujah. Hang on. And he destroyed hey, the works of the devil. Come on. Now you I did. You super. No, no, no. I'm actually not super. Okay, look, man. Look, look. I know you disagree. Let's just say, okay, I know you're a Muslim and you hold strongly to your beliefs. No, David, I, no, no. I want but to if you it. actually, no, but listen. We listen. should get to the bottom no, of it. No, but this. the bottom of it is. Because you're skipping some relevant issues okay. here, David. Show, uh, you just read, he and I showed come, you three reasons why you're wrong. He come for the Arabs. Where does it Medina? say he's going to come for the Arabs? Okay, who is Where does it say that? Okay. Everyone it says, know. let the inhabitants of Kedar let sing. The yeah. Let the wilderness and the cities lift up their voice. I mean, be happy. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the, the the villages that Kedar inhabits. So because he says let, the villages wait, wait, of Kedar, let the inhabitants of Sela sing. sing. Yeah. yeah, let them give glo glory to the Lord. So in my interpretation here, since it doesn't say he's gonna be physically in Kedar, doesn't say he's coming to Medina. What I would say, let the people that are Arab mm -hmm. rejoice in Jesus. Yes. Yeah. Yeah.
No, actually, I don't. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, actually, I do yeah, yeah, yeah. know what it's talking about, yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's not what you're talking about. Okay, so who is K Dog? Huh? Who was K Dog? <laughs> you put it on my hair. <laughs> listen, listen. He's a troublemaker. He's like, no, no. Look, 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 man. I'm not trying to look. You seem like a nice guy, man. No, Dave, I'm, I'm here who, for two who weeks. Who was K Dog? Who was K Dog? I don't. You tell me, man. You're, you're the you're the educated guy. Tell me about K Dog. You said it. You you said where Kedar is, right? Okay. It's where Muhammad dwelt, right? Right. I mean, Kedar, so you're assuming Kedar, that that's Kedar Muhammad is sons, talking about. He was one of the sons of Ishmael. Even though Muhammad worshipped Allah, and this is talking about Yahweh. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Do you accept that Muhammad sallam came from the Ishmaelites? We're, we're from the Ishmaelites, the Arabs. Yeah? Not me, from what is purported, sure. But do I know that for a fact? No. Okay. But we know, generally speaking, there's historical fact that it's Muhammad sallam. Yeah, exactly. Is it, is uh, Muhammad. It no, 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 I know the Ishmaelites are Arabs, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Muhammad yeah, being an Ishmaelite, I, I don't know that for sure. Obviously, he was an Ishmaelite. Well, no, 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 it's not obviously because... No, 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 we can trace Muhammad Sallam, his lineage, yeah? Every single one of them, back to Ishmael. We can trace him. You, you can? Yes, we have to. Okay, well, if you claim you can, if that's so the truth, then I, who cares? It, it doesn't really... No, no, but it does, because it says that, that let the inhabitants of Kedar, yeah, rejoice. Yeah, so Kedar was one of the sons of Ishmael. He he lived in that area. He lived in Saudi in today Saudi Arabia. In, and he says in the Mount of Sela. If you Google now Mount Sela, you see it's an area in Medina. Yeah? So he will come from the Arabs, specifically Kedar. Where does it say he'll come from the Arabs, man? <laughs> you added that. It didn't even say that, man. Let's like, let's be honest. It didn't even let's say that. Again. No, come on, no, show no, no. me. You know how you always say, where did Jesus say, I am God, worship me? Yes. I say, where does it say he, he came, he was born in Kedar? <laughs> Let the wilderness and the cities lift up the voice. I get that. The villages that Kedar inhabits. I get that. Yeah. Where does it say he was born in Kedar? Yes. As we know, it yeah. Does Where did it say he was born in Kedar? <laughs> what do you mean he was born in Kedar? He will come you said that the, he will come in the villages that Kedar inhabits. Where does it say he's going to come? In the village. <laughs> okay. Sing to the Lord Show a new me. song. Sing. Yeah. I, I get that. You who go down to the sea and all that is in it. Okay. You the sea. Coastlands. Coastlands. And you inhabitants of them. Let the wilderness and its cities lift up their voice, yes. the village that Kedar inhabits. So where does it say that he went into Kedar? Yes. He will come where Kedar inhabits. Where does it say that? It says here. Let the, Let's read that again. The people of Kedar. Where does it say? Okay. Okay. Where Kedar is inhabited. He says, you who go down to the sea. Okay, like, sing praise to a, a, a new song and it's praise from the ends of the earth. No, 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 yeah. that's the thing. Sing to the Lord a new oh, song. Oh, come on. Yeah. Muhammad, Muhammad should Muhammad sing? Muhammad sallam brought a sharia, a new law. You yes? Muhammad there. The new song, obviously not. He doesn't mention that Jesus goes neither, but you still believe it, eh? You said it did though, first song. Yeah. Okay, man. No, okay, okay. Look, 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 look. Okay, you know what? Hey, Ahmed, I gave you a lot of time out of you hijacking my time. And I appreciate it. You know, can I just go back to preaching what I was preaching? <laughs> It was nice talking to you. Too, man. I wish the best for all of you. I wish the best for and you. Don't too. take any future offense. I take offense. I'll You're a nice guy. I listen, like you. Can we make a prayer together that we ask God Almighty yeah. to guide whoever is upon the truth, upon the truth, sure. and to destroy and humiliate like the whoever of us who is lying and is telling false yeah, statements. Good. You know what? Yeah. I won't do that. Let's do it now. No, no. Let's do it no now. listen, Hamid. Uh, uh, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to answer you. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. Why not? For you. <laughs> I don't want you to go to hell, man. No, but I want. Why would I want you to blaspheme sincere. the Holy Spirit? No, no, I want. I want, I, I want you to be saved, dude. I'm not gonna do it. You know. You know what? Jesus doesn't tell people pray and then you know, be destroyed. You know what he says? He says preach the gospel, and if they don't accept, wipe your feet off and just walk. Well, I mean, he says in the gospel. If you want to deny your own salvation. That's up to you. Well, I mean, he says in the gospel but God that loves that you. He's knocking back, at the door of your heart. He's going to bring his enemies to him and, 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 and kill slay them. them. Yeah. Slay them. On judgment yeah. day. Judgment right. day. So On judgment you, you day, every knee thing. is going to bow and every tongue is oh, going to confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. So it's not all about love and hands Ahmed, and Ahmed, swing listen. to kumbaya. You know, there is death enough. No, but Hamid, 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 listen, man. I entertain you out of force. I want to hear you. Hamid, Hamid. Are you guys done with me now? Yes. You don't want to hear me no more? No. Okay. It's not done. Oh, that didn't sound. So nice. Listen, it's not about that, bro. brother. So, Ahmed, no, it's not even about, bro. Like you just hijacked okay. my speech. No, I'm gonna go now, but one final thing. We love you, man. You gotta repent. David, the brother, with all due respect, nice guy. 
but he didn't answer anything I said. Actually, he, he, he did, he did, did. many yeah. times. I urge yeah. all of you Christians you accept his to go home, make a prayer to so, oh Allah, oh God. <laughs> 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 you know, Hamid, where are you from? Are you Lebanese? Are you Lebanese? Where are you from, Jordan? <laughs> Iran. Iran. And, Iran. And, and, and open Isaiah 42 and ponder upon it. Hamid, Hamid's going to become upon. Christian. Open yes. 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 Muslim, Muslim, but I like this guy. I actually like Hamid, man. No, Let's keep in touch. Hey, come back again. One day. I'm gonna be here till the 31st. Come back again next yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, By God's grace, yeah. Okay, care. amen. Well, you know, interesting discussion. It's getting late. Everybody's gone. Listen, guys, um, we had interesting discussions, and you know, I just hope for all of those who are listening today, uh, why we should not embrace things that are false. Why we need to look rationally and logically about the whole situation and, and now we know why i believe in the bible and why i don't embrace islam or the quran and there's logical reasons it's not to insult or dismiss anybody but it's simply because out of all the reasons and even the best reasons that are presented you know what it just doesn't line up and so god bless you guys i'm gonna get some rest i'm gonna be back uh, by god's grace next week and uh we're gonna see man i'm not afraid of none of these guys it's not about that it's just actually i felt that today was actually fruitful because people actually heard the gospel and, 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 and god bless you god bless you man